The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a quick Transformers 3D printed project video. And what I have here is a Hot Wheels track. Now, I was at Walmart the other day and I saw these tracks and they're about four for two dollars, roughly 50 cents a piece. And I thought it'd be cool if uh, I could utilize them with my Earthrise and Siege uh, MicroMaster bases. So I picked up a set and it turns out they fit perfectly in terms of size, but they don't have the adapter. They actually come with this uh, clip that you can use to extend the track. So if you want something a super long track, you can extend it. But I needed something to connect them to my Earthrise uh, bases. Um, now, normally you could buy a bunch of sound barriers. I have three of them here. But as you can see, three, I need about five to make up this length. And I'm talking about $25 worth of sound barriers. Kind of pricey. So I thought it'd be cool to make an adapter. So I went on Thingiverse. I found two um, 3D files made available. One is an adapter for uh, Hot Wheels a replacement clip like this. And the other one was an Earthrise ramp. So I took both of the files and I did what they call a mix. And I came up with this, this adapter. You can see over here, this end goes for the Hot Wheels track and this end can connect with Earthrise ramps. Let's see if I get it going like so. Now you can see I have this little um, peg here. That's if you kind of want to make it more permanent. I, I find if you leave the peg on, it's, it's very difficult to remove. So for me, normally I just clip it off, depending on what you want to do it with it for. That makes that way it's a lot easier to remove. Like so, and from there, you can connect an Earthrise, uh, well, this ramp sound barrier and have your extended ramp. Now, I printed a bunch of them and I got a bunch of, um, let's see over here, all the ones I printed. <laughs> and you can get a bunch of these ramps to make a large base. Now, printing them does require some cleanup as it does have uh, supports here, but they're not too hard to remove. And then you can remove the excess plastic from the printing process. Here is my Earthrise MicroMaster base so far utilizing these ramps. You can see over here Earthrise Prime. I have this tiny MicroMaster here. Sorry, don't know your name. And the ramps work very well to integrate them. Going on to Skylinks and connecting here with Omega Supreme. Back down here, the other connector. And then here with Astro Train, Grease Pit, and Earthrise Prime. Now, this connector is the bridge that connects both Titan's Returns and Earthrise. So, this is the older uh, connecting piece. Um, so, I do plan to make an adapter for the tracks that actually connect with this. This is like the beginning of a large base. Uh, I've just got to print a lot more so I can do some of the uh, Titan Masters like Fortress Maximus um, and also do uh, the, the Headmaster bases like Blaster. Kind of cool to get them all laid out and displayed and connected. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.